Number two is that it adds value to your home. So this is a renovation that you're going to get money back on. They say inside your house that kitchens and bathrooms are where you're going to make your money. Sell your house. Kitchen and bathroom, sell houses. Yeah. And so if your kitchen and bathroom are currently in a state of dismay, where people that were looking at your house and wanting to buy it would look at it and be like, Ugh, nope, not going to buy that. Then you can add a lot of value to your house also by spending money in your kitchen or your bathroom too. However, adding a deck to your house also adds a ton of value. And the stats, and these are... As right? true as any stat you'll right? hear today. These are actual, like, I've heard these ones from somewhere. That a composite deck that you put on your house will maintain, like, 80 to 100% of its value that you spend on putting it into your house. So if you do a $10,000 deck and you go to sell your house in four years, you're going to get a lot of that $10,000 back. It's going to hold from, like, 8 to 10. You yeah. Back. Okay. And so... That's so good. it's just, it's a savings account in your backyard, right? With sure. slightly negative interest. But wood, on the other hand. Wood doesn't hold its value as well. does right away. Like within the first year, it's still okay. But then after that, it depreciates pretty and fast. And this, this is a huge asterisk too, because if you take care of it, I imagine it probably does hold its value fairly decently. The problem with wood is that people don't generally take care of it. And then when somebody comes to look at the, buy the house and the deck's seven years old, it looks like garbage. Well, and the other and so, thing is that people see that and they know that it requires work. Right. Yeah. Even if it looks pretty, they're like, well, that's awesome, but ugh, I'm going to have, work to, I'm gonna have to do to keep this up. So make sure you do aluminum railing at and least, then it's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Right. Just like, yeah, throw in for that. So, because that's, that's the problem when people are shopping for houses. They don't want to buy a house with a bunch of projects. Some maybe do, but nobody wants walks into it and is like, oh, good, the deck's crappy. So that's going to knock the price down. Like, not only are you not going to get what you put in for it, but it may actually, like, have negative value. Correct. If it's super crappy. Because now it's like, oh, the house is $200,000. Yeah, but now I'm going to have to replace that deck. So I'm offering one ninety five. Yep. So... As long as you put in, so that's where the spending money on on these maintenance free products makes a lot of sense. Because some people come in here. This is a great point that I've never really brought up with people before. But a lot of people come in, they're like, "I don't want anything fancy. I'm just going to do treated because I'm going to sell my house within about five years." And so they, in their mind, they're thinking, "I don't want to dump a bunch of money into something I'm not keeping because right. I'm going to sell it." But what maybe they should be thinking is that in five years, that deck's going to end up costing you more money trying to sell your house than if you would have just spent the money on composite now and then it would have added value instead of taking value away from your house in five years from now because they're not going to take care of it to your deck nobody does what's the stat <laughs> nope so it's highly unlikely they're going to so it's i was highly just sitting there digesting all of that information i like that i think that's going to be yeah i'm scared for the next guy that walks in here and tells me he's buying a treated deck because he I'm only is going to stay in the house him. for four years and it's yep. like oh huh. I'm coming for all of it. Yeah. Let me show you the Azek vintage <laughs> line. <laughs> um, so it adds value to your home. Here's a, I have a negative interest savings account for your backyard if you want. Um, what is Sousa referring to here? On the Instagram, Sousa Outdoor Living says, I do, laughing. Crappy decks give me an opportunity to try things. What's it? What did we talk about that he's referring to? So, oh yeah, you're do, you were doing a cost per wear thing here. Look at this. Can, here's where you know you get those like punctuation where punctuation matters. Things. <laughs> Had I read that a little differently, that says I do crappy decks. Give me an opportunity to try things. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Susa. Uh, when looking at the house, he. Oh, he like. Oh, I see what he's saying. I think he likes. Yeah, he yeah. likes to see a project deck and be like, oh, here's a chance for me to try things. So that's funny. I have that same feeling about kitchens and. And houses, JJ and I have talked about buying a, like a house from the mid eighties and like a full got new floors, new every like, cause you can get them for a little bit less money and it's okay to do some work. And yeah, you know, like I also enjoy rock stars and coffee. So when I see that stuff, it doesn't really bug me. <laughs> it's yeah. like, Oh, that Woo, kitchen's awful. Go. No problem. And when you do rentals yourself, the night, like it, it only takes seven to 10 years. Exactly. 